hi, it's nice to see you. Oh, I tell you what, I've been meaning to tell you for a little while, but um, I spoke to uh, Debbie Sterling the other week. She's the founder of Goldie Blocks. It's a new type of construction toy kit um, aimed at young girls, really. It's really interesting stuff. If you haven't heard about it, um, head on over to my blog because I've done a review of some of their products. They're really, really good stuff. Anyway, I was speaking to Debbie about uh, everyday sexism and uh, gender stereotyping in the toy industry. It was really, really interesting. She's got some really good things to say. I tell you what, actually, instead of me whispering on about it, why don't you take a look for yourself? Enjoy. Goldie Blocks is a book series and construction set combined. It stars Goldie, the girl inventor, and as you read along, Goldie goes on adventures and she solves problems by building machines. The idea is to get kids, especially girls, interested in engineering and technology at a young age with the hopes that we can tackle the terrible gender gap in those fields. The uh, toys like uh, building sets, uh, construction kits. They uh, help teach motor and spatial skills at a young age. They encourage tinkering, trial and error, building things and uh, seeing how parts fit together. And uh, they really help contribute to building an early interest in those topics and skill set. And uh, those toys are kind of known as boys toys. And uh, in children's media even, the math and science characters are often the boy genius. And so I think that those uh, cultural influences really kind of shape uh, in early childhood this perception that, uh, you know, girls are supposed to do fashion and dolls and care more about the way they look and uh, boys are more into action and building and, uh, you know, they get encouraged more toward those areas. The issues of toys and gender stereotyping, um, it's been around for decades, I remember it growing up, um, it was all about dolls and looking after babies at home for girls and like you say building for boys. Why do you think we're still there, we're still struggling against this? You know rather than kind of innovating or trying something new, the toy industry is dominated by you know a few really huge players and so you know I can see that they stick to these traditional roles and it sells so they make more. And in fact, when I came up with the idea for Goldie Blocks, a toy to get girls building, people in the toy industry told me I was crazy. They said, girls like dolls, boys like building, you can't fight nature. So there's been this conventional wisdom that somehow biologically, girls aren't capable in these fields and it's entirely untrue. So, uh, you know, I think that that is part of the reason why there are just these stereotypes and this conventional wisdom that persists that takes uh, you know, a young rebellious startup to kind of shake things up and uh, you know, prove that in fact there is demand for this kind of thing. Typically there are very few girl characters in the maths and sciences, but the ones who are there are often depicted as nerdy. I did not want to go nerdy. I wanted Goldie to seem like she was cool and popular. I looked at characters like Pippi Longstocking and Matilda and Eloise and Punky Brewster. Those were sort of my inspiration as I was developing the character. And there's a, there's a campaign here in the UK. I, I don't know if you've heard about it. It's called Everyday Sexism. Um, and its aim is to stamp out the casual sexism that, that kind of exists still um, in society. Is, is that something that you hope Goldie Blocks can, um, can contribute to? I definitely think that Goldie Blocks has the ability to stamp out this everyday subtle sexism. Sometimes people don't even realize they're doing it. But I do think that by introducing an empowered girl builder character to young children and having them grow up with that and realize that that's normal. Suddenly, as they get older, I don't think you'll see as much questioning if a girl says, I want to go into engineering. Hopefully it won't raise as many eyebrows. Goldie Blocks has got a really honorable aim of getting girls interested in engineering at a young age. Um, but as those girls grow, if they then at school get teased by their peers, 
then they could very well end up dropping out of the subjects anyway. So what do you think needs to happen, not only to give them that spark of interest like Goldie Blocks is doing, but get them to stay interested and see it through? You know, there's a very, very leaky pipeline uh, for, for girls to get into engineering and then stay in it and then even take a career in it and then stay in the career. And, and, and so, um, you know, I certainly don't pretend like I'm going to fix the whole pipeline. But for me, my inspiration was really uh, at the very beginning because I feel like actually that's the biggest leak is uh, young children and when they start to associate gender with certain careers and, and certain paths and interests. Uh, that said, one of the things that I've had the opportunity to do because I started the company is I'm constantly invited to speak to middle school, high school, college students and share my story of how I created Goldie Blocks, why I did it and why it's important. And I found actually that that uh, middle and high school girls look up to me as a role model. And it was funny, this whole time I wanted to create Goldie as a role model for the little girls, not realizing that I might be a role model for the older ones. What I would just tell any little kid uh, who's interested in it is to stick with it. Don't give up if you don't get it right the first time or the second time or the tenth time. Because when you stick with it and you finally figure out how to solve these really hard, important problems, you're going to feel so great about yourself. You'll have so much confidence and you'll know that you can do anything. Um, what's next for Goldie Blocks? I've really enjoyed on your Instagram account, Goldie taking over <laughs> and um, showing what she's up to sort of around New York. Can you reveal anything about what might be um, kind of happening for you guys in the future? Well, we're spending a lot of time now going deeper into Goldie, this character, and who she is and what kinds of adventures she goes on. We're introducing uh, friends of Goldie. We're bringing in more ethnic diversity into the brand and uh, new kinds of engineering challenges and curriculum. So we're dabbling a little bit now with uh, digital, with coding and electrical. Uh, there's just so many opportunities. So, uh, you know, we're just we're taking it all to the next level. So there's going to be a lot of really amazing things coming out of us that is both, but it's all really rooted in, again, this concept of really great story with, you know, really great building and, and engineering.